Okay, in this video, we have a surprise behind the door. What's behind door number one? What we did was we turned a small master bedroom half bath into a full functioning bathroom with a very nice shower. So what's behind the door? Let's look behind the door. By the way, that part right there used to be a coat closet for the hallway. So let's see what's behind the door. This is a very unique setup. So behind the door, here we go. So the bathroom, so you know, used to end right about here where the sink is in my coffee cup. It's just to give you some DIY ideas. Toilet was already existing in that position. Old 24 inch sink was in that position. We now have a 30 with a composite top. This used to be a closet, which ended right about here. So that closet is now a completely finished four foot wide by 34 inch deep ceramic tile shower. Ooh, with a cutout. So that bump out was two bays across. All right, we used a Delta snap-on. We used a custom tile for accent. Not too shabby, if I must say so. On the outside here, instead of the bull nose, we used a Sluder channel. You can buy different colors, different styles. Gives it a nice dress, makes it look real nice. Now, obviously, this video is not about how to do the tile. It's not how to do this, it's how to do that. What it mainly is is to give you an opportunity or an idea of how to create additional space for living. So instead of a measly half bath that stopped right about here and you had a little 24 inch sink and a toilet, that's it. And by the way, the door here, as I said, ended here and it actually came over to here. So what we did was we opened it up, or moved it over, I'm sorry. So I'll walk back and give you a quick view. All right, owner wanted to get a little different and he wanted to put a slide door there to prevent having to swing anything into the interior of the bathroom or to limit the space coming out. His next project, carpet. Okay, so what we did here is we did a 2412 porcelain tile on the floor. Very nicely set. There's no threshold finish because like I said, carpet's up next. On the shower, instead of a wet bed, we did, did use a preform, and the idea of using the preform is we wanted to limit the barrier. So it's not barrier free, but it's the next best thing. That's a Kohler product, runs about 400 bucks for that base unit. Four foot by three, uh, 34. Okay, so over here we used a standard mowing fixture. All right, got some upgraded plates. This mirror, hey, there's me. This mirror turned out to be very well. This is a Kohler mirror, which could be inlaid or it can be surface mounted. So when you're done, you actually end up with a full panoramic mirror view on the interior. Pretty cool. All right, LED lighting. And that's it. So it's how to get additional space out of something that you don't have. You just turn the regular closet into a full functioning shower. Thanks for viewing.